Hey guys, welcome to Backyard Beer Brothers. My name's Rory Doherty and today I'm actually drinking a local beer today. So this one here is the Lemon Sorbet IPA from Bad Shepherd Brewing Company. Um, now I've actually had a fair few beers uh, from this brewery. Um, I think the main one to note, they have a peanut butter, I think it was a peanut butter porter, maybe? And that was fairly good. Uh, but they also had this, I feel like it was like a coconut porter maybe. It was a coconut something. And I remember that being really good as well. Um, it sort of cracks me up talking about some of these breweries. Some of my friends will ask, hey have you ever had any beers from this particular brewery? And I'll say, yeah, yeah I've had the coconut this, pineapple that, the, you know, whatever, whatever. They're like, oh, yeah, have you, have you tried their lager or their draft? <laughs> it's like, nah, I haven't actually. So I probably need to do some reviews on some regular beers. But let's get straight into this. So, there's a tiny amount of haze in that. There's a, still a lot of light coming through. It's sort of almost got like the smell of a sour, maybe. Big bubbles in the head, bright white head, super carbonated. But it all, hang on. There is like a distinct smell there, but I still don't know what it is. It is, it smells more like a, like a citrus candy, but like there's something exactly like this that I've had that I can tell the smell. But we've had a look, had a smell, now it's time for the taste. Let's get into it. Cheers. Cheers. Let's roll. Mmm. Mmm. Lemon sherbet. IPA. Uh, this is somewhat lacking. <laughs> I feel kind of bad at saying that, but it's just. What does it say? It says, inspired by uh, childhood nostalgia, this bright and zippy white IPA will take you back to the playground. A big lemon hit, courtesy of Citra and Lemon Drop Hops, uh, balanced with mild acidity and soft notes of spice. Let this hazy delight. Take you back to the days of recess and handball when your biggest concerns was missing an episode of your favourite TV show. Bam, while I'm at it, this beer here is coming in at 440ml, uh, 5.5 uh, as far as alcohol volume, which means that it is 1.9 standard drinks. Uh, lastly, as far as untapped is concerned, this came in at a 3.19 out of 5. So what am I thinking? As far as the IPA is concerned, it definitely has those hot notes. They don't linger too much. There's a bit of bitterness. As far as this lemon sherbet goes, like I don't want to say that I'm a lemon sherbet connoisseur here or anything, but it's just like that department is lacking. Wait up. heavily carbonated but it's almost like actually no that'll put I was gonna say it's almost like you've just got some lemon scented dishwashing detergent and that's what they've washed their <laughs> that's what they've washed their brewing equipment their vats and everything with and then they've poured it out and you're like had a drink going hey yo whatever to their assistant yo Dave did you did you scrub this out properly yeah, 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 I used that to turn it over there. Oh, bro, you're not meant to use that. That, that leaves some lingering flavour. What are we going to call this? It tastes lemony. Let's call it Lemon Sherbet IPA. Boom! We don't have to throw it out anymore. Yay! We can charge more for it. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But, ah, uh, forget about it. The main thing is, the last few beers that I've had from them have been very very good so that's why i came into this thinking these ones could be better but it's just falling real flat but let's look at it a different way let's just pretend it doesn't say lemon sherbet let's just say it's a standard ipa then what do i think mm. 
Nah, because I don't. I still don't like it. It's got like. <laughs> sort of to get way tick here, but it's like. The carbonation. <laughs> it's got like the carbonation of a soft drink. You know, sometimes like it's got the harsh bottles, uh, bubbles and not the softer bubbles. I don't know what I'm talking about. First beer, already losing the plot. But I feel like that is something. It's got like harsher bubbles. Like it feels like you're drinking a soft drink as opposed to um, like some soda or something instead of a beer. That's one thing. It also doesn't have the mouthfeel. Like it just doesn't, it's, it's got like a very light body to it. I don't think it's IPA. Mmm. <sighs> well that's that one done. To the questions, would I buy this beer again? No. Saw it on tap, whatever. In a mixed pack, nah. Buys a gift, no. Is it scalable? I feel like it'd be one of those things that it would hurt your throat as you're sculling and you'd just do like this massive burp afterwards. But I think it probably would be skeleton. But I think that's the end of this episode. So if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to hit the like, hit the subscribe, and as always, I hope you have a good one. Cheers!